Hey everybody, Bill from Moto Tips here. Today I'm going to talk about lane splitting and how to do it right so you don't crash. So today I wanted to talk about lane splitting. A lot of people do it in California, I see a lot of people doing it the right way, and unfortunately there's a lot of people doing it the wrong way. So California is one of three states I believe that allows it. I think the other two are Michigan and Arizona are the two recent ones. So basically California says that you can split lanes on a motorcycle between two rows of either stopped or moving vehicles. A few years ago California DMV put out some guidelines basically it was that you shouldn't go faster than 10 miles per hour above the traffic and that you shouldn't lane split above 40 miles per hour. Also that it should be done between the first and second lanes if they're multiple lanes and that's a important one uh, a lot of times on the highway I, I see people splitting between the lanes further to the right and it actually makes it more dangerous for the motorcyclists that are doing it right between the number one and number two lane because what happens if you come up on the right in those other lanes if cars try to get out of your way and they can potentially push into the other motorcyclist that's trying to lane split so you're making it dangerous not only for yourself but for the other riders out there lane split on the farthest left two lanes that's also where drivers expect you to be that's where they're going to be looking for you when the traffic is slowed they expect motorcycles to pass between the farthest two left lanes when you're in the other lanes they're not looking for you and they're not expecting you so it's really dangerous another thing to keep in mind is that there's no requirements for the cars to get out of your way if the area in front of you is too narrow that you're not going to fit through there and the car doesn't move out of the way you're just going to have to slow down so just slow down wait for that space to open up slow down find a space and then move through them don't try and just like bust through them and get angry if they don't move out of your way they have no requirement to do that but let's talk about the whole loud pipes save lives thing it just isn't true most modern cars are pretty well insulated the drivers don't even hear you until you're already past them so revving your engine trying to get the cars to move out of your way it makes no sense and all it is is annoying to the other drivers on the road if you want people to move out of your way buy some good auxiliary lights get some either Clearwaters, Denali's, Rigid there's a bunch of company out there that makes really good lights and put them on bright I have two bright auxiliary lights up front with amber colors and drivers can see you so much better if you notice as I'm driving along a lot of people are moving over and getting out of the way and it has to do more with the bright lighting and their ability to see me rather than them being able to hear me I could have the loudest exhaust on my motorcycle and they're not going to hear me until I'm already up next to them so don't rely on your pipes to get people to move out of the way and for the record I don't mind people having exhaust on their motorcycle just don't rely on it to save your life Let's talk about the actual techniques of lane splitting. So it does require some skills. My recommendation, if you're a new rider and are not comfortable on the highway, you shouldn't be lane splitting. Wait to lane split until you have a decent amount of experience and skills. Things are gonna happen in front of you and if you don't have the ability to react in a safe manner, either by stopping or swerving out of the way, you shouldn't be lane splitting. The most dangerous time when you're lane splitting is as you're coming up to other vehicles and they're beginning to slow. Everyone's looking for a different lane to switch into that's faster. So if we look ahead as these cars are slowing down, I need to be careful that they're not going to switch lanes in front of me. I'm always covering the clutch and the brake. I'm ready to slow down and stop if I need to in case a car comes over into my lane. I'm scanning up ahead, several cars ahead, and looking for an exit, I'm looking to see if there's space for me to go through. If there's not, like I said before, I'm going to wait until there's an opening. When traffic speeds up like this, I'm going to go with the flow of traffic. There's no reason for me to be weaving my way through these cars when they're doing 65. Now once it slows down again, we can lane split. There's plenty of space for me to do that. I'm gonna stay safe. I'm not gonna go 100 miles per hour between the cars. It's just not safe. To summarize how to lane split and not crash or get hurt doing it, focus on these things. First off, be patient. Don't rush. 
Also, remember to breathe. You need to stay relaxed so that you're able to look ahead, think about what you're doing, and react if necessary. Next, don't focus on your exhaust to save you. Use bright auxiliary lights on your motorcycle to make sure that people see you. And finally, practice. Get your skills up. Get comfortable on your motorcycle so that when you're lane splitting, you have the skills to swerve, to stop, and to react. I hope this video helps you. Lane splitting is definitely a benefit of being on two wheels. It's one of the reasons I like riding my motorcycle to commute to work. I can get there a lot faster on the motorcycle because I'm not stuck in traffic. If you like this video, make sure you uh, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll make sure to respond. Thanks, keep practicing, and stay safe.